Encryption. Encryption lets you convert a message into a cipher using a key so that only someone with the same key can convert it back. Even the smallest change in input massively changes the output cipher and thanks to maths, it's unbreakable. But you are limited to how much you can encrypt, usually only eight or 16 bytes at a time, which means it needs to be used as part of a larger system, which by definition makes it more complex. And unfortunately, all it takes is a tiny leak to completely destroy your crypto system. What happens if we just encode each block separately? This means that any repeated blocks in the input will encode to the same thing and that leaks a ton of information. Imagine encoding an image. Introducing cipher block chaining. The idea is simple. Mix the output with more input to create more randomness in the result. Less fuzzy penguins, but more complexity. Encrypt the first block, XOR that with the next block and encrypt that, XOR that with the next block and encrypt that, where XOR is just magic computer edition. Need any things up a little, you get this. Encrypt XOR, encrypt XOR, encrypt XOR, and encrypt to get the cipher in the middle. To decrypt, just do every step in reverse. Notice that when we encrypt, we have to go one after the other, but when we decrypt, doesn't matter, so we do the whole thing in parallel. Watch closely. How much of the cipher text do you need to recover any given block of input? It's only two. So what happens if we start changing some of the cipher blocks? Well, remember how XOR is just very simple computer edition? This means in a very controlled way, start to change what a cipher decodes to. Is this algorithm totally broken? Why do people use this? Is everything insecure? Yeah. Pretty much. Say this is being used on a website where you save someone's login details so they don't have to log in constantly, but you don't want them changing things like their permissions, so you encrypt that with a key that's only on a server on the other side of the internet. Something like this. Watch how this gets encrypted. Now look at the last couple of cipher blocks. See what happens when we flip the bit corresponding to the admin parameter. Before. After. Mr. Joe's thought of the day might be stuffed. It doesn't matter because he's the admin of your site now. And if you're watching this because Mr. Joe hacked your website and replaced your homepage with this video, then this is probably how Mr. Joe hacked your website and replaced your homepage with this video. Even without any technical faults, we can already do a lot of damage. Let's have a look at just how devastating it can get. When you encrypt a block, it has to fit the block size. And if it's too small, you need to pad it out. The standard way to do this is to pad it with the amount that you need to pad it with. This makes it easier to remove when you decode it. If a service gives you an error when it receives an incorrectly padded message, that it is game over for the server. We can now decrypt and encrypt anything we want. This is what happens from the server's perspective. Without knowing the key, this is all we can see, but it's all we need. To decode the message block D7FF, we cycle through all of the values of the last digit in the previous block until we get the valid padding, which we know must be a one because it was padded correctly. And we can XOR that with the digit we used to work out the last digit of the intermediate block. And using that, we can put a two in the last position of our decrypted block. And now we can find the next digit. Using that, we can do the same thing and put threes in the last two positions of the decrypted block. And now we can find the second digit. Now using this, doing the same thing again, we can put fours in the last three positions of the decrypted block. And now we can find the first digit of our intermediate block. And now we know the entire intermediate block pre-encryption. So all we have to do is XOR it with the original cipher block and we'll have decoded that block of cipher text. Should you really be telling this? Won't the bad guys learn from this? Maybe. If you have any friends who are developers, you can share this with them. If you have any friends who are criminals, then don't share this with them. If you want more of videos like this, support me on Patreon. 